Hi, welcome. I'm glad you're back. We're here to examine our bracing, which is now finished, and I want to show you what I have done to bring us up to speed, and then what I have done on the body of the guitar to make this thing all fit, and then I'm going over this way, and I'm going to glue this sucker up maybe a little later today. You may or may not get to see that. It depends on, on how much time we have. So what do you say we roll that intro and come right back? Okay, we're back, and this is what we have done. All the bracing is sanded down to a 400 grit uh, sandpaper, and it's very nice and smooth. I've got all of these pieces here, these little tone bars and all that, all shaped. And what I did, if you recall, with this little jig here, this was to go down on here to make sure that everything would fit. Well. It's a little difficult to get it right into this corner, as you can see. It, it, it because of this triangle here, it just, it just doesn't fit. This gets in pretty close, and you can see that there's no, no rocking there. Well, I can't even tell that one, or that one. That one seems a little high too. So what I did is instead of using that in these particular corners, I ended up doing this. Now this is the calipers that we use, and when you extend these, what happens when you make them wider is this piece comes out the bottom and can be used as a measuring stick. So what I have done is I would set that there, I'd push this down here, I'd close that off and I'd say, wow, with my glasses, <laughs> it says it is almost 2.9, not quite. Okay, so I did that on the inside there. Let's get a look at here. I just brought this down. This is 3.1, that's okay, or 3.2. Um, that's not gonna be a problem. How are we doing in here? Remember, I wanted that way down. That's down to 69 thousandths of an inch. And that's gonna be fine, even though the jig is at 60,000. That's 58 thousandths of an inch. So this is a little thinner than this. And that's because I've thinned this side of the top a little more because when we've got the guitar like this and I've got the armrest over here, I want more flexibility in here. So that's where I'm gonna get that on here. So I've, I've shaved this down. Now, I use this all the way up I use this up in, 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 in the top here. I used it on this side. I also used it here at, at the, uh, the center piece there. That's 45. We take that just a tad bit lower. That's 45. So it's, it's really, really precise. And yeah, 46. So I'm happy with that. that that really sets everything off properly. So the next thing I did, as you can see here, is I wrote my name and I put in 2019-2020 because this has taken us a little longer than I expected. And I've got OM for orchestra model and I've got BR for Brazilian and 003. This is the third Brazilian guitar that I've made. And uh, of course you can see all of this. Now, up in here, if you can see this, there's a hole right through there. That's where the truss rod's gonna go. And when this is on the top of the guitar, we're gonna actually cut out up in here. And you'll get to see that when we do that as well. This is a whole lot of fun. So that concludes the top. Oh, one other thing I wanna show you is I also sanded this down nice and smooth. This is where the, uh, the bridge will go on the other side of that. But down here, I am working on, um, this is a, a patch, because the grain of the top is going this way, 
this grain is going this way and it secures it and makes it really good and solid. I don't ever want this top to split. So in order to prevent that, normally what you do is you would take a, a, a little piece of wood and I'm looking for something here, but I don't see what I, what I want. And we would put it on the uh, corner. If, it, if it's a square, this is almost square, we would put it like this so that it would be a diamond shape and you'd have that and you'd put two of them, one down here and one up here. Instead of doing that this time, first time ever, I decided to put a solid patch in here because I just thought that might make it a little more uh, solid and give it a little more support. I have run the ends off here and you can see that that's perfectly flat, that's flat, that's flat, that's flat, and you'll see all of that and why that's important in just a second. Now. Let's move from the top back to the body. All right, we're back to the body. And I want to point out here, if you will recall, I drew a center line down the center of the body. And I drew a line here and here, which represents, I'm not sure you can see it, I hope you can, the end of the patch that's in here. This patch, again, runs cross grain. While the grain of the guitar is going like this, this patch is running this way, again, to make it secure. Because once we put the lid on this, and we have it all secure, we're gonna put a big hole in the side of the guitar here, an oval, as a sound port and that will uh, enhance the volume and do a few other little goodies that you'll see a little later on in, in, in the guitar and why that's there. This is my last chance to get inside the body of the guitar. Now, what I did, and I did this in advance so that we wouldn't spend all day trying to, trying to make this thing work. This is where the top is gonna come across the bracing. And so what you do, is you take the bracing, or rather you put the top on here like so, and then you put something on it like this. This is a five pound weight. And I put that on just so that this isn't going to move. And once this is in place, I can get underneath with, I use a white pencil, but that gets me going on the side and I mark where these pieces are coming through on the side of the guitar down here because I'm going to cut that in just a minute. So I've done that and I went ahead and I used the router. I may have uh, a picture of that. If I do, I'll try to piece that in so you can see me actually using the router. I use the router to cut this and that goes along there and that's the other brace that's coming across here. Remember, this is the armrest and that's the other side of the armrest. And then I do the same thing for the transverse brace that goes at the top of the guitar. And then what I did is I use this saw and I take the saw and I get down here and I actually have it measured and then I start sawing like this. And then of course, we take a chisel and we scrape that out with a chisel. And then what I do, if I can find it here. Yeah, here it is. I take this, this is a file, a flat file, very thin, very small. And I just, you know, give it a little, extra encouragement there, just to make sure it's good and flat, and that the glue will, will go in here nice and neat, and we'll be all set. So, I now cut out this, cut out this, cut it out up here. Now we're ready to fit the top. And that's why at this point, I'm, I'm a little slow because I wanna make sure I've got everything done properly. And it appears that I have. Oh, one other thing that I've done here. When I came in here with this armrest coming into here, this piece of plywood, I have already camphered it. If it, it, it goes, if there's the angle, you can see that. Can you see that over there? And that angle is pretty neat because 
what that does is makes this thicker piece the same thickness as all this kerfing that's running around the side here. And I have my center lines all marked, and so I'm good to go. And now, what I've done, I've cut this, and this will, well, it's supposed to, there we go, fits, fits in pretty darn good. Just to make sure that I have a perfect fit, what I do is I use a flashlight and I get down here and I check to make sure that the top is all secure and going to come down. And I can see that we've got a problem here on this one piece here. So, what we are going to do We're going to shave this down here just a little bit more. I think that's got it. You know, to the naked eye, it looks pretty good, but when you put a flashlight on it and you get right down and you have a, a peak, oh yeah, that's better. But you know what? I'm still not 100% happy. So here's what I'm gonna do. Here's how I do this. I get a pencil. And I'm going to mark it. And I want to check the other side at the same time. Okay, I've got a little problem there. I wasn't expecting this today. I thought I had it right. That's why we keep checking everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby, we're going to fix this up. Now that also says this is likely too high. See how I slice that across? Now I'm going to hit that with some sandpaper in a second. Don't blow into my tea, okay? like this to fit really tight to the side of the guitar, fit perfectly before I do anything. Like before I attempt to glue or do anything. If we've got that all set up and fitting in there nicely before we do anything, it just goes so much easier when you glue it and you don't have to put pressure on it. It just, it just fits perfectly. So we're going to make that work. Now, something you haven't seen me do before is with this sandpaper. This is a piece of dowel. And as I do that, I rock my hand.
now we'll go to a finer grit. I'm going to jump right down or right up, depending on how you look at it, to 400. It's not going to work. This one now. Perfect. Perfecto. Then I fold the paper in three. That way I get to use the whole sheet. Okay. Now, if you pardon me, I'm just going to blow the dust out this way so it doesn't go in there. I don't like having sawdust in my tea. By the way, for those of you that are curious, it's snowing like crazy outside. I hope my wife can get out there and get that snow cleared soon. I hate her to get her hair all messed up. Oh, yes. All right, we're good. We're even better. All right, there we go. Now what I need to do here is I need to set up and get ready to put this for the go bars and to glue it up. So I'm going to do that later, but I, I, I think you just need to see that we're all, we're all done. We're all good. We're ready to seal it. It fits. It's tight. And I'm excited about this. This is good. This is all good. All right. Well, that's pretty well it for me today. And I want to thank you for joining me. I didn't expect to get into that other little stuff there on the side, but I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of that. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks so much. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, please do. We got more coming because we're going to be moving into the neck next. And that is really my favorite part. And mind you, we got to finish the armrest here. And then what I would like you to do is check out the links and send me some uh, questions for our Q&A session with Tea with Monty. That's coming up very soon. And we'd be delighted to answer your questions and hang out. So there you go. It's Christmas. Oh boy, busy time of year. Stay safe and drive carefully. Oh. Thank you, friends. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.